West Virginia is the only state that is totally in the center of Appalachia. Fact. Braxton County had 14,851 residents as of 2005. Sutton and, and Braxton County is the geographic center of West Virginia. Fact. Braxton County's household income is about $27,000. So we are in the very, very center. We're one of the poor communities. We are a distressed county. Fact. About 23% of all Braxton County's children ages 0 to 17 are living in poverty. We didn't have options for children uh, in the high school to practice theater, therefore being able to apply for scholarships in the arts. We had many kids who had gone to school in the arts. Fact. Only 9% of our residents over the age of 25 have a college degree. We have been identified by the Appalachian Education Initiative as one of three counties in this whole state to not have a visual arts or music specialist in schools. We are West Virginia, and we do care about the arts. We are from West Virginia, and we are interested in creating a better tomorrow. We took this youth empowerment, this leadership, and, and melded it with our arts program. And it helped build our arts program at the same time that we accomplished all of these leadership goals that we had. We are here to celebrate and recognize what we have accomplished. Theater is a natural process of learning teamwork, of planning, of process, of leadership. The arts are what make us human beings. Uh, it's, uh, it's that innate part of us that is creative. It's that part of us that makes us respect human life uh, and to have a respect for each other as, as uh, not only persons, but as, uh, as artists, as creators. It isn't just about black and white, whether you make money or how many people come in, but the, the, the value is, what's the worth to the community of bringing in culture, of having kids who feel uh, maybe they won't go on and have a career in art, but maybe they'll stand up at a business and promote an idea that they have. If you don't have art, you don't have uh, humanity. You don't have a sense of caring about other people. It's cold and it's something that, that we don't want to live in a world without. We began to look at it as a learn and serve organization, which is very big in West Virginia. Actually, it's big in the whole country. And the premise there is that children or volunteers learn and then go out and serve their community community through volunteerism. And in our case, that volunteerism is participation in the arts. It's important to know who we are. It's important to know why we are here. It's important to reflect on what we have done, what we have learned. All of those ideas kind of coalesced into one idea, which was a vision of us uh, helping the children be leaders in the arts and giving them training on theater, um, helping them access college opportunities, seeing shows and professional performances. Our goals are to create leaders in the arts, to serve the community, to open our minds, to gain the skills of the theater artists, and to As those kids go back into their communities, they carry back that seed of leadership and, and uh, appreciation of the arts.
Maybe their parents went to them to the, with them to the Clay Center to see a show, or they went to Fairmont State University and saw a production and began to consider, maybe my child can do that. So I think we can generally raise the, the uh, expectations of the population of this county. Arts and, and youth is very important because um, today's teenagers are tomorrow's adults, and if you guys don't get inspired by what you see us doing, then, then it's just going to fade away. When I look back, in this one year, we've had 80 people involved in the Youth Theater Project. 53, and these are adults and youth, 53 of those have never stepped into this theater before. Arts value is not flat like ours, but rather it produces within us the building blocks that may lead to success later in life. What we saw the children we thought had limited ability, uh, who have surprised us all by taking to the stage and the theater, feeling like this is their home. The kids say, this is, this is like home to us. By creating individuals who can think independently, become leaders, create a vision, and use it to enhance our communities. YTP serves as board members, actors, producers, and technicians. Broken capillaries appear around the end of the nose, <laughs> and the cheek. Is there anything special about the way you're putting the latex on right now? I'm using a stippling motion. I'm just tapping it, lightly tapping. And I want to smear it on. We had kids who were adjudicated youth that didn't think, what's going to happen if I pull a bomb threat at school? Those kids are now sitting on our board. Those kids are helping to plan. Those kids are thinking about the implications and consequences of what they do and trying to teach others about it. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to. Playboy? Playboy, what you doing out here at night like this? Hawthorne? Everybody, this is Playboy Spencer. I mean, we have seen kids come in here that were shy and, and unable to read a script. And a year later, they're sitting there and we're interviewing them on a camera and they're speaking to us as if they're mature young adults. Okay, so this is in your chest. You don't get as much breath support. So what you want to do is hear it all down from the diaphragm. So you want to pooch out the belly as you can. The arts help us all to uh, learn to make decisions and to learn to think about what's happening around us. Who are we? Who, who we, we are? In middle school and high school? Jump. And we do have valid opinions. Yeah! yeah. We, we are. are! Middle school and high school. And we do care about the community. We, we are. are! In middle school and high school. We are! Kids have volunteered and come in here over 3,600 hours in less than a year. 3,600 hours. The adults that we've had in here, we've had about 1,200 volunteer hours from adults. I think that's, to me, that's a big surprise to think that in one year, that much in a community of only a little over 14,000 people, that much volunteer time um, to see that the kids are having opportunities in the arts. At this point, we have a lot of board members that have worked with us. We have um, local organizations that have invited us to come out to speak or do productions. So we have some business partners. Um, we've performed in a church uh, up in a whole other county. 
Uh, we have local volunteers that are participating that don't have children. Our goal is to engage and expose youth to the arts by providing them with leadership and development and volunteer opportunities in theater that do not already exist in the schools or the community. Through YTP, youth in our community will have opportunities to participate in art events at the Landmark, trainings, statewide productions, and conferences, and will have access to college scholarships and learn fun ways to volunteer. I'm seeing people who are inspired by the kids to do more. Even people who've been here for years and just felt like, you know, well, what's left? Are, are seeing a whole, a whole other avenue of, I mean, they are the future. We won't last forever. If we know that we have kids coming through that will keep this going, the landmark will be here for a long time. I think if we don't you know, teach like our the, children uh, the arts, then there's no one to the, carry it on through the generations uh, yeah, like and keep it and, uh, in the community. Uh, arts are very important. This feeling of Ubuntu, this consciousness of not being separate, we're all in it together. This, this is our story, the story of us.